2021. 150,000 deaths from climate change each year. 550,000 new COVID-19 cases every day. 41 million deaths from chronic disease each year. 55 million people affected by drought. 82 million people displaced. Nearly 4 billion people without access to health services. One global community. One goal. Health. AmeriCares makes health happen in 90 countries on average every year, reaching 4,000 health centers worldwide with $1 billion in aid in 2020. More than 40 years of action towards one goal, health. Welcome to the AmeriCares Airlift Benefit. There is one issue in the headlines, one issue that concerns us, one issue that connects us, health. And there is no better time or place to address health than here, now, tonight at AmeriCare's Airlift Benefit. I live in AmeriCare's, I mean, I'm, I am standing in AmeriCare's Global Distribution Center in Stamford, Connecticut. And in the next hour, we can improve health for millions of people, literally. I'm here tonight as your co-host, but I'm also here as a member of AmeriCare's Board of Directors. And I can tell you, this event will raise critical funds for AmeriCare's. So by donating in the next hour, you're gonna support health programs that literally save lives, both here in the United States and in as many as 90 countries around the world. You can donate anytime, so get those phones out. And there are three ways to do it. Text AmeriCare's 2021, that's AmeriCare's 2021 to 243725. You can also use your phone's camera to scan the QR code on the screen or just visit americas.org and hit the donate button. And if you're joining us live on October 2nd, we'll also have a special giving moment near the end of the program that you can be a part of. So my co-host on this journey tonight, joining us live from Los Angeles, is someone who has been all over the world in her life and in her work as an actor, and whom I've had the absolute joy of working with, my dear friend, Adria Arjona. The joy was all mine, Tony. Thank you so much. And it's it's just so good to see you. And it's truly an honor to be here representing AmeriCares alongside of you. So thank you for introducing me to AmeriCares. You know, I've been I've been doing a little bit of my own research and, and I found out that AmeriCares is one of the world's largest nonprofit providers of donated medicine and medical supplies. And as well as reaching 90 countries on average every year, AmeriCare has partnerships in all 50 states here in the United States. And to cap it off, AmeriCare has earned Charity Navigator's highest rating for six years in a row. That's pretty impressive because only 14% of charities consistently earn such high ratings. We're in the right place to improve health. You know, I, I grew up in Latin America. I'm half Guatemalan, half Puerto Rican, and I grew up in Mexico City. And, and now my work as an actress has allowed me to travel the world. And I've met so many amazing people. And if there's one thing that I'm certain is that there is no shortage of goodwill, hope, and ambition in this world. But poverty is also ever-present. I've seen how lack of access to resources, including medicine, results in poverty. Everyone should have a chance to live their healthiest lives. That's health equity. And the goal of health equity underpins everything that AmeriCare does. That's so well said, Adria. There are so many barriers to health. I'm here surrounded by one solution, stocks of quality medicine and medical supplies. You know, AmeriCare has recently shipped 80 tons of medicine and medical supplies from right here to Haiti after the devastating earthquake in August. That's 80 tons. Everyone deserves access to their healthiest life. Healthcare is a human right for everyone, not just the lucky few. And committed to that idea, AmeriCare finds solutions, solutions that fit, solutions that work, ones that are sustainable and that have a life-saving impact. A look at the last year alone 
will show us just how effective America is at doing what it takes, when it matters, where it matters, to save lives. On August 14th, 2021, a 7.2 magnitude earthquake struck Southwest Haiti, killing more than 2,200 people, damaging or destroying 62 health facilities and leaving 650,000 people in need of aid. AmeriCares responded immediately with 80 tons of medicine and relief supplies and five Haitian medical teams to treat thousands of survivors in the disaster zone. The team is basically processing the patients at one end. Um, they're uh, seen by the physician and the nurses uh, along the way, and then at the end they receive a prescription down at this end. On August 29th, 2021, Category 4 Hurricane Ida struck Louisiana, leaving one million people without power or water, billions in damage, and thousands of people seeking safety. AmeriCares responded immediately with 17 shipments of medical supplies and relief items, including eight truckloads of bottled water and emergency funding to maintain and restore health services. Every disaster response, every health program this year is happening during a global pandemic that has killed nearly 5 million people. AmeriCares has responded with 17 million medical supplies to 42 countries and training for 43,000 health workers to prevent infection and manage stress and crises. The support that AmeriCares is providing is so vital, so timely that most of the hospitals and healthcare workers have expressed that uh, I mean, this, this help is, is, is just in time. Now, more than half of the people in the United States are vaccinated. But while 60% of people in high-income countries are vaccinated, only about 3% of people in low-income countries have access to vaccines. AmeriCares is a trusted source of information about the coronavirus and vaccines, encouraging uptake with messaging campaigns and modeling safety, saving lives and improving health for all of us. With health programs in more than 20 countries, reaching on average 90 countries a year, AmeriCares is a leading nonprofit provider of donated medicine and medical supplies, saving lives and improving health every day. AmeriCares response to COVID-19 here in the United States and around the world is impressive. It's, it's vital. As AmeriCares managing director in Indus Pradesai said, but even as COVID-19 continues, climate change is the number one threat to public health. And like the pandemic, those affected most are those that have the least. People who have been neglected or discriminated against haven't recovered from last year's disaster. And they are the ones who are gonna get hit the hardest next. And the stress from multiple disasters as well, or just the threat of a disaster takes a toll on health. This is true whether you're in Louisiana, in New York City, or in the mountains of Honduras. Here in central Honduras, life only gets harder. A severe years-long drought has ravaged the land. Food is scarce, and so are jobs. Poverty is one result. Then in November 2020, back-to-back -back hurricanes brought destructive winds. Heavy rains and floods washed out roads and bridges. The Department of Santa Barbara took the brunt of this extreme weather. In San Jose de Colinas, Dr. Saidi Paredes feared for her community. Que esas dos noches ninguno de los, de los pobladores pudo, pudo dormir. Sabíamos que la devastación iba a ser muy fuerte tanto para nosotros como para nivel nacional. Estábamos sin energía eléctrica, sin servicio de agua potable porque los tubos de agua fueron dañados severamente. The storms destroyed and damaged buildings, including the clinic in San Jose de Colinas, the only health center for miles around. 
communities were cut off from what little they had. Afectaron familias, familias pobres, se cayeron casas, hubieron derrumbes de calles. La gente más pobre eh, casi no tiene nada. Dr. Paredes lives and works here to care for young and old. Even before the hurricanes, she saw the effects of climate change on health in her community. Que también se han oído afectados por la sequía. El impacto eh, y pérdida de cosechas afecta la economía familiar. Se ve eh, afectado también lo que es el crecimiento y desarrollo de los niños. Without nutrients, children's health suffers. Older Hondurans need quality food and medicine to manage diabetes and heart disease. Young people eager to start families worry about health and the future. Every season brings the threat of stronger storms and the stranglehold of drought. In such an environment, where do people put their dreams? For the future? For their family? For their community? Good evening, everyone. I'm Lydia Finette, the lead charity auctioneer at Christie's, and I'm here to help raise funds for AmeriCare's health programs. Together, we can make sure that AmeriCare's programs are funded. In fact, that's why you're here. Your gift makes a difference for people around the world. And I have an incredibly exciting announcement right before this event started. Donations that are made during this airlift benefit can now be matched up to 200 thousand dollars. That's right. Right before this, we found this out. It's an unbelievably exciting match. There were two donors, Marty Noxon and a donor who wishes to remain anonymous. But both of them want to double your impact tonight. We are so grateful to these friends who made this incredible match possible. So thank you. This match means that a $5,000 donation can deliver $10,000 in aid. $10,000 can fund operations of an emergency medical tent like the one set up behind me. This can be set up in a disaster zone and provide medicine for more than 50 disaster survivors in a single day. So let's get going. Take out those phones. There are three ways to make a gift. And if you think this is the last time you're gonna see me tonight, you are wrong. So text AmeriCares 2021, that's AmeriCares 2021, to 243-725. Or you can use your phone's camera. You can scan the QR code directly on your screen or visit americares.org and simply click donate. There will be plenty of opportunities to give and these directions will appear multiple times on the screen tonight, as will I telling you about these directions. So get comfortable with seeing me, I'm here to raise money. So I wanna start off by thanking very much Roberta and Jim Conroy, Mehdi and Alvia Mahmood, Jerry and Rita Lehman, Michael and Lisa Ullman, Later in the program, we're gonna go back to Honduras and find out how do Dr. Paredes and her community get what they need. You can make sure that they have the medicine and medical supplies that they need. One last thing to note, at the very end of this program, we're gonna have a big giving moment with some announcements. I also wanna let you know that that will happen live, so I will see your names, we will be able to support you and cheer for you wherever we are in the world. But get ready now. Text AmeriCares 2021, that's AmeriCares 2021, to 243-725, scan the QR code and register so you are ready to go. Thank you, Lydia. So COVID-19, of course, has been a challenge for all of us. We've all had to step up in unexpected ways, but this pandemic has been especially demanding on our leaders. AmeriCares has been able to respond to multiple disasters during the pandemic and maintain its ongoing health programs in over 20 countries because of our strong leadership. As I mentioned earlier, I'm a proud member of the AmeriCare's Board of Directors, so I see this firsthand every single day. In the past 19 months, AmeriCare's has expanded its health programs, added to its global workforce, and become a trusted voice on the pandemic, all while robustly maintaining its core health programs, continuing to improve millions of lives. These achievements 
require vision and a steady hand. And America's has that and so much more in its president and CEO, Christine Squires. Christine took the helm of AmeriCares on March 14th, 2020, just as the full extraordinary scope of the pandemic was becoming clear. Thank you, Tony, for those kind words. This has been a critical year for global health and for AmeriCares. The health emergency AmeriCares confronts are in the headlines every day. Stronger storms, record numbers of displaced people, and of course, the continuing COVID-19 pandemic. And we see the impact of health inequity starkly. Entire countries wait for access to vaccines and experience shortages of protective gear and critical equipment. Too many lives lost and too many people suffering needlessly. The global challenge, do more, do better. And AmeriCares is. Since I became president and CEO at the start of this pandemic in March, 2020, We've made certain that AmeriCares is ready and able to address more and more complex crises. We've added expertise to meet the demands of the pandemic and the increasing health pressures from climate change. We are now a trusted source of information about COVID-19, and we continue to provide the PPE that frontline health workers so desperately need. Mental health is critical, especially for health workers, so we create and deliver mental health programs just for them. And we meet people where they are, with mobile health centers in communities hit hard by poverty, disaster, and displacement. We know that to live their healthiest life, everyone needs and deserves access to a lifetime of health services. And when I say we, I include you, our supporters. You are our true partners in this work. Together, we will work to ensure that health centers and people in their communities thrive with better health. We can and will do more. Let's start now, give what you can, and together we will make a difference. Thank you. Yes, let's, let's start now. Thank you so much, Christine, for your leadership and those very inspiring words. You know, as Christine said, when we work together, amazing things happen. And as we've seen in the headlines, powerful storms like Hurricane Ida can sweep away roads wildfires destroy communities in minutes. The combined effects of poverty and disaster, including the COVID-19 pandemic, are especially stressful. Health workers are not immune. They live and work in communities affected by disaster. AmeriCares is easing the, the burden on health workers with training designed Centers and provides critical resources for patients and for their staff. Pandemics just don't bring good things to anybody, um, whether you're in the healthcare, in the education, anywhere. It just brings an additional stress. I would say the biggest challenge is just providing the care for the patients, proper care. We've been seeing more and more patients in kind of depressive state to the point of, you know, having plans of suicidal plans, you know. I tried to do it on my own. When I hit rock bottom, I was just like, I can't do it. Did anyone get COVID in your Yes, my husband, myself, and I was pregnant of her. She was having problems with her respiratory. So they took her and that's where it hit me more because I was all alone in the hospital. I couldn't have no visitors, only my husband, but my husband was in San Jose with her. It's been just stress. Not only coming here, doing my job as a clinic manager, but also going off site, doing all this testing. Um, when we get the results, 
I was the one, I was one of the nurses calling these patients and said, you know, you're positive, you know, all that stuff. It kind of took a toll um, personally um, because um, I was calling Thanksgiving Day as I'm cooking my turkey. I'm sorry, but you're positive. AmeriCare's crisis intervention trainees helped me as a clinic manager to implement, you know, different scenarios, different tactics to calm down the situation. In addition, I've also trained um, my staff to learn how to do the same thing. You know, as a clinic manager, you kind of want to do that in case you're not here. America's training was something we all needed, not just the patients, how to deal with our patients who are our rate and going through whatever they're going through before they come into this office. We also needed it for our staff. So this was a very good, America's was very good in telling us what to do, how to deal with, how to see the signs of someone who needs help. Instead of going to a whole different building and not knowing the people, which is here. I, I've been here for so long, and I know the staff here, they know my history. They're more than open to help me and give me words of encouragement. And that's what I like about the ladies here. We're here, we're alive, thank God. It's getting better, taking it one day at a time. For over 40 years, AmeriCares has been supporting local health centers to make health happen. To date, the organization has delivered $20 billion in aid. And this all started with the hard work and compassion of AmeriCares founders, Bob and Lila McCauley. So each year, we honor that spirit with the Bob and Lila McCauley Humanitarian Spirit Award. In early 2020, pharmaceutical teams around the world began work against one common enemy, the virus that causes COVID-19. Every phase of pharmaceutical development was called on. Manufacturing, quality control, supply chain, logistics, and distribution the teams had to create better solutions faster than ever. And they succeeded in less than 10 months, producing safe and effective vaccines that have already saved millions of lives. The Bob and Lila McCauley Humanitarian Spirit Award celebrates extraordinary commitment and courage to help others. For their tireless work, for developing and applying new science and methods in service to humanity, AmeriCares is proud to present the 2021 Bob and Lila McCauley Humanitarian Spirit Award jointly to the teams at Johnson & Johnson and Pfizer. Accepting the award are Dr. Paul Stoffels, Chief Scientific Officer at Johnson & Johnson, and Caroline Rohn, Senior Vice President, Global Health and Social Impact at Pfizer, Inc. On behalf of all of us at Johnson & Johnson, I'm humbled to receive the Bob and Leila McCauley Humanitarian Spirit Award from our long-term partner, AmeriCares, and pleased to share recognition with Pfizer. Across the entire Johnson & Johnson organization, thousands of people have been working tirelessly for the past 18 months to bring forward solutions to help stop the COVID-19 pandemic, including our single-shot COVID-19 vaccine. Our teams are continuing to work with great urgency to get the vaccines to people who need them around the world. I am honored to accept AmeriCare's Humanitarian Spirit Award on behalf of Pfizer and alongside Johnson & Johnson. Pfizer has been working relentlessly since the start of this pandemic to rapidly find ways to help treat and protect people around the world. We could not be more proud of the commitment and courage of our colleagues, as well as many others across the pharmaceutical industry. We've known from the start of this endeavor that stopping the spread of this disease and ending the pandemic will take the commitment and ingenuity of many. I wanna congratulate Dr. Paul Stoffels, 
and Johnson & Johnson for everything they have accomplished. And I particularly want to thank AmeriCares for their work during the COVID-19 pandemic. We will win this fight together by working together. Both Johnson & Johnson and Pfizer show what can happen together when we work together as a team. We change lives. So let's talk a little bit about teamwork because I wanna let you know what has happened on the screen in front of me in the past 15 minutes. In addition to everything that was raised before we walked in the door this evening, we are at $1,930,000 raised tonight. And I have seen all of the bids come in, Alan, Corolla, Jane, even Anonymous, who is that? That's the question I'd like to know. Michelle is out there. Everybody is giving so generously. Thank you to Michael. All of these generous donors have given a generous gift so that your donation can also be matched up to $200,000. Are you on the team? Get your phone out, ladies and gentlemen. There are three ways to make a gift. You've heard it before. I'm going to keep saying it until I know that somewhere in the world you're picking up your phone. Text AmeriCares 2021. That's AmeriCares 2021 to 243725. Use your phone's camera. You can scan the QR code on your screen or visit americares.org and click donate. Let's keep these gifts coming in, ladies and gentlemen, because every gift can be matched during this airlift benefit up to $200,000. And I have a good feeling that by the time that I walk off the soundstage tonight in this incredible distribution center, the number in front of me is gonna read 2 million. So let's keep going and I'll see you shortly. I also want to thank a couple of additional people before we move on to our next video. Bob and Louise Bayless, Alexa and Ward Horton, Sarah and Alexander St. Amand, Joy and, Aaron, and Eric Wines. Your gift powers innovative public health campaigns with messages that save lives, like this one that AmeriCare's experts produced to deliver a critical message. Wash your hands, wear a mask, five feet apart, step one foot back, stay at home, it ain't that bad, wear a mask, wear a mask. When Dr. Fauci speaks, yeah, we all should listen, I know we over it, but the COVID isn't. If we stay at home and keep working on our fitness, in just a couple months, we'll be back to business. Putting on a mask is like tying up your laces. If we don't wear it right, we'll be falling on our faces. If you go outside, stay away from crowded places. Blowing kisses when we zoom, catching feels, not cases. Wash your hands, wear a mask. Five feet apart, step one foot back. Stay at home, it ain't that bad. Wear a mask, wear a mask. Wash your hands, wear a mask. Five feet apart, step one foot back. Stay at home, it ain't that bad. Wear a mask, wear a mask. Listen to the science, not that he say, she say. Wear a mask and save a life, it's just that easy. So we don't have to live 2020 on replay. When mom and dad were selling toilet paper on eBay. This ain't about the left or the right, no politics. We just want to stop, stop, stop the apocalypse. If we spread in something, let's spread a little thoughtfulness. I just stayed at home and watched Netflix, all of it. Wash your hands, wear a mask. Five feet apart, step one foot back, stay at home, it ain't that bad, wear a mask, wear a mask, wash your hands, wear a mask, five feet apart, step one foot back, stay at home, it ain't that bad, wear a mask, wear a mask. How amazing is that video? Uh, and what an important message, obviously. You know, that song uh, and the American Sign Language version of it is just one example of the innovative health messages that America has created this year. And the sign version is so important because if only a select group can get the message, guess what? It's not equitable. Sign language was the solution there, but barriers can also be cultural or financial. And in Ghana, health centers can be extremely far from cities where, where <clears throat> and 
and too far when there's, when there's an emergency. People just cannot reach them. So AmeriCares and its partners came up with a pretty innovative solution. AmeriCares is always looking to the future. In the Africa and Middle East regions, we have an innovative partnership and collaboration with Zipline and Women's Health to Wealth to support hard to reach health facilities in rural Ghana with critical medicines and medical supplies in a timely manner. Imagine you're a frontline health worker working in a maternal and child health clinic in the Ashanti region. And a patient of yours, a three-year-old boy, needs an infusion of fluids. But due to the distance, these medicines may take several days to arrive, which could be too late. Yet, you were informed a few days earlier that your health facility is in the Women's Health to Wealth support network. Now, through their partnership with AmeriCares and Zipline, you can request medicines and supplies from Zipline's distribution center by phone, messaging apps, or text message. Once the request is made, Zipline will package the products, which AmeriCare ships from the United States to Women's Health to Wealth, free of charge, into an aircraft and dispatch it to your health facility. The shipment is then released from the aircraft over a designated area at the health center and lands with the help of a parachute safely. A health worker collects the package and healthcare staff provide the products to the patient free of charge. Thus, through Zipline, we are reducing the delivery time for critically needed medicines from hours or even days to under an hour in many situations. Drone delivery has also reduced the number of people who must come into direct contact with others to deliver medicines during the COVID-19 pandemic, reducing the risk of infection for health workers. By mid-summer in 2021, AmeriCares had delivered approximately $190,000 worth of medicines and supplies via Zipline for distribution to health centers in Ghana. And nearly 2,000 flights carrying products donated by AmeriCares had been completed in the region. This appropriate technology, coupled with effective coordination and partnership, will continue to increase access to medicines and medical supplies and improve reliability and speed of deliveries to save lives. It's absolutely incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, your gift tonight literally gives medicine wings. And for those of you who are sitting there holding your phone and haven't picked it up, I just want to tell you something. Since the last time you saw me, we've raised an additional $12,000 for AmeriCares. So if you haven't done it yet, pick up that phone and we're gonna keep going because the zip line is just one more example of the innovative programs AmeriCares has around the world. AmeriCares has local partners. So every single program is appropriate, efficient, and effective. AmeriCares collaborates on new ideas to achieve greater success and to improve more lives. Here in the AmeriCares Global Distribution Center, I am literally surrounded by quality medicine and medical supplies. Imagine this, flying around the world. That's what your gift does. Every case, every pallet has the power to say lies and will, but only with your support. So take out your phones. We just made another $2,000 while I was telling you just that small piece of information. Take out your phones. There are three ways to make a gift. Text AmeriCares 2021, that's AmeriCares 2021, to 243-725. There will be a quiz after, with, after this and I'll make sure that you've memorized it, obviously. The second way to do this is to use your phone's camera. You can simply scan the QR code on the screen or visit americares.org and click donate. Thank you to Fran and John Katsudis, Jeff and Linda Becker, Erica Hill and David Young, Deirdre Dunn and Walter Weil. Also stay tuned for our special giving moment toward the end of the program. I'll give you one guess who's in charge of that. See you shortly. Hey, ¿qué tal, amigos? How are you? We're Mao and Ricky. Hola, yo soy Cani García. Hola a todos, soy Cabas. Hey, what's good? Listen to me. Familia, aquí Pedro Capó. Es momento de abrir nuestros corazones y de ser solidarios. Nosotros apoyamos americares.org. Vayan ahora mismo a americares.org. To find out more, go to americares.org. It's time to donate, okay? That's the cost, because we got to do that. You hear? americares.org. You hear? <laughs> I like her. That is so wonderful to see so many artists come together in support of AmeriCares. You know, last year, AmeriCares provided $1.1 billion in aid to 83 countries and $125 million 
of that was to Latin America and to the Caribbean, where my family is from, where I spend most of my years, truly. And an important America's program in South America is ongoing right now in Colombia. It provides health services to people who are fleeing Venezuela. And joining us live from Bogota, Colombia, is AmeriCare's own Ana Maria Ariza. Welcome, Ana Maria. Hi, Tony. So AmeriCare has nine clinics in Colombia, right, that provide health care to Venezuelans who are living in cities. But in August, you met Venezuelan migrants at another AmeriCare's location, right? Yes, Tony, that's right. Every day, hundreds of Venezuelans cross the border into Colombia. These migrants can't afford a bus ticket or a car, so they walk. They call caminantes, which means walkers in Spanish. This year, AmeriCares set up a mobile clinic to take care of these caminantes on the road. And I had the privilege to be at the clinic in August. In the past five years, more than five million Venezuelans have fled turmoil in their country. For those who have settled in a neighboring Colombia, AmeriCares operates nine health clinics. In three years, the clinics have provided nearly 450,000 patient visits. More Venezuelans cross the Colombian border every day to join family and friends or go farther. Those who can't afford a car or bus cross the border as walkers. In Spanish, caminantes. Si tú eres caminante porque tú no tienes recursos para montarse en ninguno de esos buses que pasan que le echan el aire a uno. Ser caminante es tener voluntad, tener fuerza. Decirle a la mente, yo sí puedo. Si los demás pueden, ¿por qué yo no puedo? Yo puedo también. Soy Diole Martínez. Nací en 1966, tengo 55 años y soy venezolana. Decidí venirme a Colombia porque en Venezuela está muy, pero muy duro. No hay trabajo, la comida es cara, las medicinas son caras. Y sobre todo, no hay fuente de trabajo, no hay cómo trabajar. Mi nombre es Valesca Barbosa, soy venezolana. Tengo dos niños con asma. Todos los, los medicamentos que uno necesita no están en la farmacia de los hospitales. Más que todas las enfermeras los sacan, los revenden afuera en dólares. Tomamos la decisión de mirar por la dificultad económica Tenemos que caminar porque no hay recursos para irnos en, en bus, como dicen aquí. An estimated 162,000 will walk this road this year. More if conditions in Venezuela worsen. The road has risks of its own. Exposure, violence, and lack of food and water. An AmeriCare's mobile clinic meets the displaced Venezuelans on their journey in Arauca. Ah, claro, eso, eso lo ven allá adentro. Pero le tienes que decir al doctor. Here, in a roadside clinic, doctors and mental health specialists provide every kind of care, knowing they will see their patients only this once. At the AmeriCare's clinic, Migrants learn what to expect on the road, how long their journey might be, and what kinds of help they will find along the way. They see the doctors and receive hygiene items and any medicine they need. Perhaps this is their first health care in years, as medical services are nearly impossible to find in Venezuela. AmeriCares also provides mental health care Migrants learn stress-reducing techniques to use now and in the unsettled times ahead. Ser migrante es como un sinónimo de, de valentía. No cualquiera puede ser migrante. No cualquiera es tan valiente para buscar ese otro horizonte. Uno puede ser migrante en cualquier momento, pero por gusto, ¿cierto? Voy a viajar, voy a estudiar, 
voy a trabajar, pero ser migrante por necesidad es muy, muy complicado. La población en tránsito tiene un objetivo, es llegar a un lugar, entonces ellos no se focalizan mucho en su salud, sino hasta que ya está bien complicada su situación. Entonces, mientras nosotros estemos en el espacio de atención integral antioqueña, proveemos o le damos ese servicio sin que él lo busque, pero cuando estamos ahí, ellos aprovechan. Ese es su momento. Van con preocupaciones, van con ansiedad, con esperanza, van con una mezcla de sentimientos y emociones que necesitamos ofrecerle algunas herramientas para que ellos puedan saber manejar ese tipo de emociones que les pueden afectar positiva o negativamente en el camino e incluso cuando ya lleguen a su ciudad de destino. A mí me da fuerza seguir caminando, primeramente mi Dios. Mi segunda fuerza de energía que tengo es llegar a la meta, a donde yo pienso ir. Eso es una fuerza que a uno le da esperanza, le dan ganas de seguir adelante. Y uno empieza a decir, me voy a devolver. No puedo, no aguanto, no voy a llegar, estoy cansado. Ya no, no resisto. Pensamos y decimos, no, voy a lograrlo, voy a cumplir la meta. No es por nosotros, es por nuestro sí, es por un futuro, es por un futuro mejor. AmeriCare's program in Colombia, including the Mogul Bull Clinic, is so important. Ana Maria, the migrants who are walking, where are they going? Tony, I met people who were going to cities in Colombia where over 1.7 million Venezuelans have settled in. Others were walking, Tony, to Peru, Brazil, and Ecuador. Some of them, you're not going to believe this, but they were very young people oh my God. traveling by themselves. And one thing you couldn't tell from the video, Tony, was how, what, how hot it was. And some of them were walking barefoot. And others, they shared their dreams with me. Wow. Well, thank you, Ana Maria, for sharing that incredible story with us. You're very welcome, Tony. It's my honor. Barriers to healthcare can be a political border, as we saw now in Colombia with the Venezuelan migrants who are unable to access healthcare, or much of anything, really, in their own country. But barriers can be within a country as well. In the Philippines, medicines to treat mental health weren't widely available until AmeriCare stepped in, working closely with local partners, which is so critical and something AmeriCare does so well. AmeriCare was able to help bring real and lasting change. Just a word of caution here. This video covers mental health topics and contains material that might be distressing or difficult to watch. My name is Maribel Mandado. I am 42 years old. I live in Cebu. Before I work abroad, I, I make money, I send money to my family. My life is good before, but one day I just feel, I just feel sick and I hear something. Somebody's talking to me, but I'm alone only but I hear something in my ears before. They would just say, you're crazy, you're crazy, because we did not hear what you hear. Then my employer bring me to the hospital and send me back home. I have um, 
many schizophrenic patients, they are disorganized behavior. You cannot tell what are their movements, their thoughts and their feelings. There is hallucination and delusion. The family during that time, they are forced to uh, put the patient in chain. Some of the patient put in a cage. They're imprisoned because the family members really wouldn't know how to handle them. In our case, we know that we have mentally challenged people in our community, but how do you treat them? I wanted to do something, but I didn't really know how until AmeriCares came in. Here in the Philippines, we don't have a lot of specialization in mental health. So we uh, design a program to help doctors in the health uh, sectors to identify, diagnose, and treat mental health problems. AmeriCare has provided initial stock of antipsychotic medications to the project areas. The local government unit will be the one to provide the continuity of the medication. Uh, my mother-in-law called the AmeriCare in San Romeo. She go there and tell them that I'm going, that I am like this, I am sick. All the patients now are not hesitant to open up. They have, the, they have this trust, trust to the program that they can be helped. They have this uh, thinking that they will be helped if they will open up and share their problems with us. I am very thankful to AmeriCares. I hope to improve my life. Your help is a very big help for us. Thank you very much for helping us here in the Philippines. Maribel's life was changed because of AmeriCares, because of the support of people like you. A $25,000 gift during this airlift benefit can provide mental health training for 100 workers, 100 health workers like Pearl. Imagine all the people whose lives would be changed with your donation. And during this airlift benefit, I've said it before, I'll say it again, all gifts can be matched up to $200,000. So if we activate that, ladies and gentlemen, that's $400,000 over the course of an hour. It only takes eight of you at $25,000 to unlock that match. So if you haven't done it yet, let's do it. Text AmeriCares 2021, that's AmeriCares 2021, to 243725. Use your phone's camera, you can scan the QR code on screen or visit americares.org and click donate. As WWE superstars, we depend on each other, in the ring and every day. We know. The health of one of us affects the health of all of us. During this pandemic and after any disaster, doctors and nurses work on the front line. First responders risk their lives. And we all stand for one another. Let's keep going. Because good health is for everyone. And when we join together, we can create a healthy world. We can save lives and improve health. For our families. For our neighbors. For the whole world. Together, we can make a difference. And now is the time. Join me in supporting AmeriCares. Join me in supporting AmeriCares. Join me in supporting AmeriCares. Thank you, WWE superstars. I agree completely. Together, we can make a difference. And thank you to the WWE for their longstanding partnership and strong support of AmeriCares' mission. Now, Lydia is going to be back in a few minutes with an invitation to be part of something special that will allow you to have a greater impact than you thought possible. And I assure you, your gift will change lives. I've seen it firsthand in two places very close to Adria's heart, Guatemala and Puerto Rico. <laughs> yes, those two are very, very dear to my heart. Um, during this program, we've seen, we've seen AmeriCare's impact in Colombia, in Ghana, in the Philippines, the United States, and truly around the world. We've gone beyond the headlines to show you why health is essential for everyone. So why don't we go back to Honduras where climate change puts so much pressure on one community to see how AmeriCares is helping to build a brighter future. 
After Hurricanes Eta and Iota tore through the Santa Barbara department in Honduras, AmeriCares worked with a local partner to strengthen two health centers, improving roofs, windows, restrooms, and electrical systems. The clinic reopening was celebrated in San Jose de Colinas. Nosotros sabemos que eh, nuestro sistema de salud está fortalecido y gracias a Americares que hizo eh, posible eh, este reto. These improvements will withstand wind, rain, and floods for years to come. Ellos siempre preguntan quién. ¿Quién hizo esto? ¿Quién arregló la clínica? ¿Quién les hizo la nueva clínica? Siempre está el nombre de Americare. Eh, estas gracias no solamente vienen de mi persona, sino de, de la población. In nearby communities, Americares provides nutritional supplements for children and pregnant and nursing mothers. Hemos hecho una alianza estratégica con Americares para que ellos nos suplan el suplemento vitamínico para poder complementar la carencia de esas vitaminas y minerales que necesita la mujer embarazada y lactando, al igual que el niño de 6 a 24 meses, y luego va a la escuela y va a desarrollarse con mayor facilidad. Al tener mejores condiciones de vida, al tener mejores condiciones para ser un buen profesional, vamos a tener un desarrollo también en nuestra comunidad y en consecuencia en nuestro país. Now there are dreams and new beginnings for everyone. All around the world, AmeriCares improves health, changing lives for the better. Your airlift benefit gift will make health happen in Honduras, in Ghana, the Philippines, Colombia, Haiti, and the United States, all around the world. And as I've said throughout this program, every gift can be matched up to $200,000 by the incredible AmeriCare supporters, people who are generous, compassionate, and smart, just like you. I know you want to make health happen for more people in more places, so let's go. Let's all imagine for one second that we're not scattered around the world, but we're together at the airlift benefit. A thousand people sitting together, enjoying each other's company, looking around and raising money together. Imagine that we're there and not apart. Get out your phone, your tablet, your laptop. I'm gonna do exactly what I would do if we were at the airlift, airlift benefit, except by myself. So I need you guys to dig deep and have a great time wherever you are. If you have a glass of wine in front of you, finish it. Grab the bottle. Let's go. $25,000, ladies and gentlemen, will bring critical health infrastructure to a disaster zone. A tent structure to store and protect medicine, serve as a headquarters for a team of first responders, just like this one behind me. This structure can go around the world with your donation. So text AmeriCares 2021, that's AmeriCares 2021, to 243-725. Use your phone's camera, you can scan the QR code, or visit americares.org and click donate. And I will tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, you can join Anton, Kristen, Jenny, Anna, Katie, Michael, Henry, I see you all. Allison and Patrick Fells jumping in at $25,000, ladies and gentlemen. $25,000 can provide mental health training for 100 healthcare workers. We've seen this video, we know how much this does. $25,000, thank you to the Harbor Lights Foundation as well, ladies and gentlemen. That's $50,000, what did I tell you? I knew we were gonna get to two million. We were at $1,994,000, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the next level. I know I am starting high. Every dollar counts, no matter how much you give. So give wherever you can, because every dollar is equally important. $10,000 covers full operations of an emergency medical team during a disaster for an entire day. That's 20 experts who can treat at least 50 disaster survivors every single day. And thank you to the Wolford family, who's kicked us off with a $10,000 gift. $10,000 can also send a U.S. clinic an entire month of COVID-19 protective equipment, keeping staff and patients safe. 
So thank you to the Wolford family. Thank you to Laurel. Thank you again to Michael and Henry and the other Michael who's donated generously. And to the $5,000 level. $5,000 stocks the shelves of the clinic with life-saving diabetes and hypertension medicine. And Caitlin and Greg Beerman have jumped in, excuse me, Beerman have jumped in at $5,000. Holly and Adam Casella, Robbie and Bob Feinberg, Dr. Nadia West and Don West, all at $5,000. Thank you so much for your generous donations, which also put generators in disaster zones. That's how much it costs, ladies and gentlemen. $5,000 gets a generator into a disaster zone after a hurricane or an earthquake. In Louisiana, where I'm from, a million people were without power after Hurricane Ida. So let's act now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are over the $2,000 level, so let's keep going. $2,500 puts a medical go bag into the hands of a first responder. The contents of this bag are designed for the first 72 hours of an emergency. Everything you need to treat 50 people, $2,500. Thank you to Christine Squires and Steve Pashkoff at $2,500. This can also provide the fuel to keep a clinic open for 18 months all around the world in countries where AmeriCares has multiple health programs and strong partnerships. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are doing an incredible job. So let me ask for one last level. $1,000. $1,000 outfits one emergency responder with a tent, a sleeping bag, and the gear when they're deployed in an emergency. Thank you to Jenny Goldstein, Evan Schultz, Esta and Jane Feinsod. $1,000 can also add a satellite phone for emergency responses in a disaster zone like Honduras after those destructive storms. Communications is critical. Where is help needed? What help is needed? It's a call that saves lives and you can make it happen, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you to every single person who has given. We're gonna give everyone the chance to continue donating. As I've said many times, you can continue to give by texting AmeriCares 2021 to 243725. You can scan the QR code on your screen or give at americares.org. And thank you to Monica for wrapping us up with her last gift. Have a wonderful night. That is amazing. Look what you guys have done. And thank you, Lydia. Thank you to everyone, especially who's contributed. So let's keep it going. Now, there is more. I would like to announce a generous contribution from my honorary co-chair of tonight's benefit, Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer has donated proceeds from the sale of Friends merchandise. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Jennifer. And also, actor Jason Alexander recently appeared on Celebrity Wheel of Fortune, and I think we've got a clip of Jason solving the final puzzle and revealing how much he won on behalf of Americas to support health programs. Oh, I'm feeling better all the time. My phrase is the category. I see that, and I see the Alexander nod and the happy dance. You have 10 <laughs> seconds to solve it. Jason, what is it? I'm dancing with the stars while I'm hold down the fort. There he is, it! <laughs> It's fun when you figure it out, isn't right? It? Well, it, I tell you, it is not the million dollars. Uh, Will you settle for 100,000? <laughs> yes! Wow! That means $198,650 uh, for America. Thank Great job, you. Thank you, thank you, man. Wow, that's just incredible. Almost $200,000. Thank you so much, Jason. And thank you also to ABC. And finally, thank you to Adria for co-hosting this evening with me tonight. I'm just so happy to see you, Adria. I am so happy to see you, Tony, and thank you so much for reaching out and having me here tonight. I'm forever moved by all the work that AmeriCare does, and it was an honor to co-host with you and support AmeriCare and health programs around the world, um, AmeriCare's and its partners are improving health, and I know that our efforts here will change lives. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, change lives indeed. The power of giving is, of course, a power we all share. The impact of health has been so vividly demonstrated tonight in this airlift benefit. This is how we work together. This is AmeriCares. This is AmeriCares. Every day, we act on our mission to save lives and improve health for people affected by poverty and disaster so they can reach their full potential. AmeriCare's people make it happen. We're project managers, public health experts, doctors, videographers, emergency responders, 
nurses, supply chain specialists, fundraisers, grant writers, logistics and materials experts, forklift operators, partnership managers, and so much more. AmeriCares is global. Our employees work from offices in El Salvador, Colombia, Haiti, India, Liberia, Malawi, the Philippines, Tanzania, and the United States, and remotely from many more. AmeriCares is local. We collaborate with community health partners in our three program areas, emergency programs, access to medicine, and health services. AmeriCare's employees have a passion for health as a human right and are dedicated to equity in our work and our workplace. We create and deliver programs that improve millions of lives, reaching 90 countries on average every year. These results inspire us. We thrive on collaboration with our teammates, partners, funders, and peer organizations. We work independently and share new ideas and put innovation into action. We value our own skills and the talents of our teammates. AmeriCares gives us the time and resources to balance work with personal passions, whether that's time off for family, fitness, learning, or travel, or time during the workday for yoga, cooking classes, or enjoying our pets. AmeriCares supports its people in how they work, who they want to be, and how they want to grow. At AmeriCares, we improve our own lives and the lives of millions of people around the world. Working together, we know we can accomplish more. Join us.